wechseln die Position. in your pipe and smoke it.
You need to shove that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby. So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it.
I am arming the warhead now. You may want to bug out of Roswell before this thing goes boom. Far out, brother. Far out. I have my guy City Hall on the tornado alarm. Evacuate the whole town. Now look for an exit and get the hell out of the glass zone. I'm almost done clearing out Mission Control. Meet you at the rendezvous by Galveston. Done deal.
the Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors as slaves, and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. What, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Ooh. Follow me and I'll show you. Uh, okay. Come on. Ah. Show me the ring, Mama. For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. Whoa! Look at this, Billy. I think he knocked the rat fell in the mop bucket. Now he can't get out. Look at that. He's drowned. Probably. Well, save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. Well, he's dying. He's dying, Billy. And it is paved with heartbreak. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began.
tell you a secret? Okay. Promise not to tell anyone? Yeah, okay. I'll whisper it. there somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. your property, they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. I'm coming to kill Mama. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Wow. And you and I are going down into the basement and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun?
place has gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nearly a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Pointy Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Nothing in this house but bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like it wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall. Coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing.
Covering his mouth. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. And we make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> Schnitt! <lacht> Gott! <lacht> Zimmermann! Sie haben Talent! 
Wir sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth, open, open. That's it. Huh? How does it taste? So boy. They're gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya. My family. Weeks pass. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy, torture, terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad, and high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as Death! Death, Mr. Blaskowitz! Nothing but swift, sheer death! <laughs> Bailiff!
Mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you are the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are all for my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to do. Warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Position. She's dropping it! You ready, Kindle? We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady. March for button. Grab it! Oh. Not, not. Hurry! We have three seconds. We need to give his brain oxygenated blood. Or it will die. 
Transport! Oh Gott, er ist tot. Scheiße. Das bin ich. Look! Look! He's awake! Hey, look at that jammer bastard! The only person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off! Mr. Vlaskovich, can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Anila, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Anya! Kindle, please, I'm a Nazi family. Please come and help me here. Now, these are very rare Nazi company equipment from super soldiers. Our fighters found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Okay, Yingala, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm God, and you're God, and you're God, and you're God, and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. Close. Send them to me when you're done. No, have you seen Katsubi? Who's to give you? Who's to give you? Shim Shim. I get the Shim. Mr. Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yankala. A new man. I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this 
Same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. It's hot! Max! Max! Hot! I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. Go on, Mr. Blaskovich, put it on. That's right, Mr. Blaskovich. Now, engage the battle walkers to reach to the top of the wall and climb over it. Yes, she... Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Remarkable to see you here standing in front of me. It's just astonishing. You know, detention and public execution were the most well guarded events in television history, you know, protected by the full might of the Nazi war machine. And so you're standing here in front of me. You know why? Now, the only reason you are standing here is Anya. She never gave up. No, this girl never gave up. When Grace's plan to rescue you uh, failed, Anya, remembered what I accomplished with Shoshana? Ask me whether I can do the same thing for you. She was the one who brought into my attention the super soldier, biologically engineered body. She even reclaimed all of the weapons you lost at the ruins of the farmhouse. She is relentless, this girl. She's a keeper. your cheeks and the rub of your hair, but we drop this thing, oh, I'll explode and sink the whole fucking boat. Would you mind coming over here and lending a hand? Exhaust. Exhaust. Oh, God, here comes the idiot. Stay back, Max. This thing is very dangerous. You go boom like this. Oh, say your prayers. We're fucked now. They'll kill us all. No, 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 no. <laughs> what in the name of astripping Fox has happened? Well done, Max. Outstanding. Oh, well, you're making this old Bodak sentimental, Blasco. I'm gonna have to get this thing wired before we get to New Orleans. Oh, but it's right good to see you up and about again, Captain. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Why, you ask? Did 
Did you watch movie before Nazis? Yeah. A couple of times with my husband. Love the movie. I was thinking, I am a writer. Maybe I write movies? Seems like much fun. You're asleep. Oh, I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. I need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? Exactly what Super Spurs said. Mm. Hey. Mm. You never answered my question. Which one? Is this real? Should go see if Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. back from mission control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? When? What were his last words? I need to know. He said, it was space aliens, man. Everything functioning. Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Well, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be it. It's just, but it, oh, God, Senor. Senor. God, Senor, I'm, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full-on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Mm, yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blast. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto is home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there. So that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. It's a fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan districts. Got it. On Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. Find a way inside the nuclear bunker before the radiation levels, you know, kill you.
the Nazis keep the stolen intel inside their command center. You gotta find your way in there.
TV gun. Except bigger can. Bigger gun. Only way forward seems to be through that elevator shaft. Get to work on upgrading my weapons. Yeah, Grace wanted. Guess that's my cue.
Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yingle? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry. You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose, I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry. <sighs> All right. Blaskovich, could you give me a minute? As writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend, Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you are out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for Max, Mr. Blaskovich. You check out this Enigma machine everyone's so jazzed up about. with that sight. Well, I was, I was thinking something along the lines of a poor but uh, yeah, kind of go wrong with alcohol. Oh, William, I wish we could spend some time alone, but we're so close to New Orleans. I just hope it's not too late. Ich 
Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of Terror Billy. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terror Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters. For the longest time, I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance. Leader. Named. Port. I, I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm -hmm. Horton. Horton and his crew were holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. I'm sorry. Did you need this coat? Yes, motherfucker. <clears throat> Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. brothers and sisters. I need you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Hey, Blasco. Not seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out.
should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Blazkowicz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Orton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days? responsible. Shortcut through this building.
can get across to the other side. Maybe I can make use of that overhead train. Up and running. from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Early made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little... Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> excited. <coughs> oh, God. Is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss. Someone is putting up a fight.
Son, take my hand. You a preacher? No, this. Lord, Lord, I picked these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Well, this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old timer friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a rock cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty some bitches coming here, we're gonna shoot their asses out. I tell you what, going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You've got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. You mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. <laughs> 